Oh yeah, I remember this. Behaving. Oh, ruination. Cold hard crash. Digging it. Oh, this is where they... Okay, this is another sewer level. Sewer level number three. This is a B level. This is a B level. And this is where you start to go, come on, man. You can't put two of the same theme in the same... That's dumb. And they're like, yeah, we don't care because, you know, these things will put out in a year-to-year -year schedule where it's like 96, 97, 98. It's like, okay, cut them some slack. They made something pretty amazing considering they had probably a turnaround of about a year to a couple of months. Because I don't know if it was like release game, okay, we've already started work on the other game. But in those days, that was definitely what they were doing with Pokemon. Oh yeah, they start having these guys run at you, because, you know... You can knock them into the barrels, which does make your life easier if they blow them up, but they rarely do. Oh, Sneaky bastards. Give me those wumps. Oh. Um. Hello. I thought there'd be something back here. That's why I did that. These guys, they were like, hey, what if we have the scorpions that knock you off, but they're immune to everything. Will that be fun or will that be hell? Don't let go crash, you know. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait, how far do you go, sir? Sir? I don't, I do not like this. Oh, that, no, I don't deserve that. This game is maybe Stockholm Syndrome in a video game where you're like, oh, I don't deserve these things. This is my fault. You know, where you're just gradually being gaslit into thinking, no, this is my fault. This is all my fault. I'm the one in the wrong here. Not this game is absurdly hard. Like, no, 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 it's fine. I'm wrong. I should be ashamed of my terrible abilities. I'm the one at fault here. You know, where you gradually just start to believe that you... Oh, look at this speedy boy. Oh, this guy's just a trolley motherfucker. Oh, go home, robot, you're drunk. Uh, oh. For some reason I thought it would try and make me jump that far and it really was not even trying to hint at that. Or maybe it was and it was tro- Fucking robots. No, it's my fault. <laughs> this is- this is what the game feels like where you're constantly thinking like, no, the game is trying to teach me about life. I'm the one that's wrong here. I'm the bad child. And we're really now stepping into the psychology of what the fuck's wrong with me. But, you know, I literally was held at Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, with Stockholm Syndrome and various other syndromes placed on me. Munchausen Syndrome, where my parents literally spent most of their life telling me, you're a very weak, sickly, and stupid child. You'll never make anything by yourself. You need us. We're saving you from this world because you're so fucking pathetic. And it's like... E no. And they were pissed off that I have confidence in my own abilities and I'm actually capable. So, yeah. We were going to get into dark psychology things. Let's, let's change it to a nice topic. Like, relatable sexual harassment problems I'm having at my new job, which is, oh, the standard. <gasps> Has this always been here? I don't remember this at all. Well, let's go back. Now we've checkpointed. I swear that's just death. <laughs> That'd be like the ultimate troll. Ooh, a secret puff. No, it's just a hole, you fucking idiot. Oh, and now they're down there. 
Can you tuck yourself up? We're gonna try. I'm pretty sure you could use to curl your legs up. Let's try. Oh, you can. We're learning new tech. But my depth perception... <laughs> Crashes upper body. The fuck, man! Okay, we ain't doing that. <laughs> I felt that. That got me a little bit, because I was like, wait, I curled up. And there was like an inch too high, that robot. No, man, that's not... That's your fault for... That's what life will do to you, man. Mm -hmm. Uh... Shall we talk about sexual harassment? I'm pretty sure I edited out the last things I talked about. Sexual harassment. Let's talk about it again. So this is China, and a lot of people who have worked in China can uh, also attest to this. This is China. In Japan, you'll be left alone, because the Japanese have a somewhat less gropey and a much more polite kind of culture, as people stereotypically know about the Japanese. They're not going to come up to you and start groping you or flirting with you. Or you would hope that the average aren't like that. The Chinese and the Cantonese... Ooh. Oh. The Chinese and the Cantonese are the kind of motherfuckers who think it's completely fine because you're foreign to just start harassing you sexually in public and stalking you and being creepy. Especially if you're a co-worker, because, I mean, that means that, that you're with them all of the time. And what are white people except for free sex and money just uh, vendors, right? That's not like they're real people. They're just things that Chinese people get free shit from. So, uh... And you think I'm being, like, a cynical asshole? No, that's basically what they act like. Oh. Oh. It's all going wrong. <laughs> oh, I lost all my one piece. Anyway. Yeah. Kind of feels like bullshit. I used to get harassed a lot in Hong Kong. Uh, on the metro from girls literally in school uniforms who are either posing as high, high school girls or literally were high school girls because like the age of consent in these countries is really low and some of the girls just act like total jailbait skanks as a result because they're like I can do whatever the fuck I want and you're like eh, well you can I guess if you and your parents and the law system you work in is sure, go ahead, but not with me, because my culture, that's that's paedophilia, so <laughs> you know, and there have been accounts of people losing their jobs from the current place I'm working at, because the students are like trying to have sex with them, and they had sex with this 14 year old or something, there was this New Zealander that was all I was told there was this New Zealander, and they, they didn't give me a name, the guy that I was talking to in the bar that used to work at my place, but uh, he got fired pretty fucking quickly because I just keep doing this. I just keep doing the same thing. What's wrong with me? Let's just get to the end of this. Because you're not supposed to sleep with students. Shocker. It's almost like that's like a therapist sleeping with his patient. It's not at the same level, but it's still this kind of abuse of power. And it's straight up like seen as like morally wrong. They get complaints from parents, as you would expect. Um, yeah, it just it's just wrong. Ooh! I didn't deserve that. Because I'm a bad, bad child, and I'm the only one who shoots, and that's all the evil coming out. Maybe I was raised Catholic and I just never realized I'm a bad, bad person and it's all my fault and I'm the reason there's sin in the world. Remember that. Yeah, I wish that was true, that's a pretty good claim to me. Um, what am I talking about? Yeah, so like, 
dank shit, apparently. Uh, let's just get to the end of this. No! To the end! Please stop bouncing on all the TNTs! Fuck it, let's just get out of here. Blow this popsicle stand. Yeah, so he got fired before I even started at this place. And you know when you... It's the day before you start. Uh, it was the day before you meet them to start talking about the contract after kind of being offered the job. And you're like, oh, I'm going to go. And then you're in a bar, which I shouldn't have been anyway. Ooh. Dicks. Yeah, and you're in a bar... And it's because your mates, like, you were out hiking with your mate, and your mate's a massive alcoholic and can't deal with the idea of not going to a bar every 30 seconds. Because, yeah, <laughs> maybe that's, that's one of my friends over here. Uh, and we meet guys who are, what am I doing? What am I doing? Get on the fucking, oh my god. What are you doing, you spaz? Oh my god. Get around the thing. Yeah, let's finish this story when I can actually fucking walk. I remember them doing that. Please, just end this nightmare. Please. Okay, the, the, map, the mice are doing that thing again where I jump shallow, and I kind of land on their spike, and it feels like, okay, yeah, I can see why that killed me, but at the same time, it's just they're moving really slowly and they deceptively quickly turn around and I'm like, oh, fuck you, stupid mouse. Who's giving mice these dumbass robot wars armor anyway? Why am I making this harder for myself by doing weird diagonal jumps over barrels instead of just waiting? This shit is what gets me each time. Stand on the platform, dickhead. There we go. Oh, die anyway. We're at this close. The end anyway. Yeah, this is a, the part in the game where I start to fuck up real bad, so yeah, it's gonna get worse. Especially as I ramble on about sexual harassment. So yeah, great opening starting point though, isn't it? When you start a, start a new job, and before even your first real day on the job, you hear some Irish guy in a pub go, in an expat pub go, oh yeah, I worked for them for seven years. A lot of the girls try and fuck you. Like, a lot of the students try and fuck you. You can't, and one guy got fired for fucking a girl who, by our accounts, in our culture... Look, there's Venus flytraps that throw grenades now, because... And they used to be little black bomb star grenades and they've changed them to green. I don't know why. Okay, just maybe it's a particle effect, whatever. Oh. How oh, that didn't kill me. Um oh. When they're red, they're bad. When they're green, you can also they're also bad. I thought you could use to spin them on a certain one. about these cheeky heads actually moving around. Is it calling them cheeky heads incredibly racist? It probably is, isn't it? Tiki is like a Maori symbol, not... Uh, it doesn't look like that. Oh. Oh, I left that there. I used to show him holding his heart and collapsing when those things exploded, and I was like, either Crash was shot in the chest or he had a heart attack, because the thing blew up next to him. Uh... Okay, this shit's really hard. Um... Stop. So yeah, that's a great start. The next thing I know, I've been moved to a different, um, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> next thing I know, I've been moved to 
twice, or once, to a different branch because they allegedly need me more there. And they're like, oh, you'll love it there. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck does that mean? Uh, and it's all girls in their 20s. And they have not a single foreign teacher there. And basically every single one of them that's even remotely single or is just being an asshole start flirting with me, touching me up, which is like a great way to get fucking shy kicked out of you. Just don't do that to me. I get really fucking pissed off when people touch me. Uh, obviously, I'm not beating people up, but it is like, come on, man. I'm at fucking work. <laughs> I didn't come to work today for you to just get a fucking free feel up in. You know what I mean? Creeps. got through that. Um, yeah, and now I'm getting girls, like, in every single, like, some of the girls in some of my, like, one of my students admitted to smoking, and she looks like she's, like, 13, and I'm like, and she's always acting up in my classes, and then after my classes, coming up to me and being like, oh, hey, and, like, all this shit. One of the students I teach uh, started telling people, telling the Chinese staff, the female Chinese staff, that she had a crush on me, and they just laughed and said, haha, that's funny because she's fat. I'm like, I don't know what's worse, the fact that you think it's okay to call her fat when she's a student here, and she's just, you know, and, you know, she's just a fucking person. Uh, all the fact that you feel like it's fine to tell me that she said that she's turned on by me. Oh, here are the bees. Not the bees. Please. Oh. What happened? I just, I just clipped out of existence. That bee. He used to swell up. Because apparently bandicoots are allergic to bees. So you got to run through this bit. Oh, he's fast. Bees seem faster than you. Ah, oh, shit. You can spin them, but it's like very risky. I don't know whether or not you're gonna hit them. Oh, I fuck that up. Electrocute or bee? This is your choice. Why didn't you time it perfectly with the thing that was literally around a corner <laughs> that you could not see? Um. Anyway, still talking about harassment. Um, yeah, and I'm getting co-workers hitting on me, acting crazily around me, buying me random snacks, and I'm like, okay, thanks. Like, then buying them snacks, and then that apparently being their way of thinking that that is now fine. Oh. Get to me in the hive and it messes with you. Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad that they kept some of the deaf animations in. In a lot of cases, he just turns into an angel now, and you're like, oh, that's not the same. I like the old stuff. But they had like lots of unique deaths. And that's the other thing I forgot to mention about Crash 1 that they got rid of. The long, kind of black screen death where he'd be like, wow, and he'd fall over and go, dun, 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 dun. Dun. <laughs> and you just got, oh, that was a really cool cartoon death that I used to think was very Tom and Jerry-esque, and I really liked it. I keep fucking this up. Please stop. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can, uh, you can burrow under this. It used to be cobbled, but now it's like this weird burrowing tarmac. You see? You spin and that happens instead now. He's a burrowing bandicoot. I don't know if those things can still kill you. I think they can. Ooh. You can do this now. Spin them while they're under. They can't hit you, they can just buzz around. Uh, yeah, so I had a few girls say to me late at night as well shit like, 
Okay. Uh, do you think I'm the prettiest girl here? Which girl do you think's the hottest? And you're just like, I don't care. And they're like, I'm going out to lunch, and a lot of the time I'm trying to go out to lunch on my own now because they keep saying weird shit. Okay, you see with this hammer man, how he combines with the underground shit to hammer you flat when you try and go by him. Oh. Kind of clipping through the world as well at the same time there, but okay. Yeah, and like, I'm getting loads of people asking me like really personal shit, and it's like that kind of uncomfortable level where it's like, I'm clearly uncomfortable and avoiding the question, and yet they're still asking me, no, seriously though, seriously, seriously though, and you're like, get the fucking message, I'm avoiding the question, like, they're like, are you single, are you married, do you have kids, how old are you, how much do you earn, I'm like, well, I'm sure you know half of these questions because you have to handle my documents for my visa, right? So you must know. Like, why are you even bothering to ask me? And like, um, <clears throat> it's like an interrogation and they're like, are you single? And I'm like, and they're like, do you have a girlfriend? I'm like, I don't want to talk about this. And they're like, so that means no. Why don't you have a girlfriend? Why aren't you married? And all this shit. And it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, maybe that's why. Aw, oh, I thought I escaped. How many lives do I have? Seven. And it's like really rude, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I forget he launches quite far, like go out the back. This time he didn't. And still I fucked up. See, he did it that time. Need to not fuck up this time. Like I like this theme, and they only they don't really do very much with it. And it's like the only time they bring in this B shit, and then it's just done, and they never use it again. And I'm like, I can see why they got rid of it though at the same time because I think it was very unpopular with people because it's just so like anxiety inducing. You got bees chasing you, you got all sorts of shit happening. There's also a death room in this, which is at a secret place on one of them. Um, what else was I talking about? Yeah, I got all these girls asking me shit like, "Oh, do you think I'm pretty? Are you single? Are you looking for a girlfriend? Do you have a do you have an ex girlfriend? Was she Chinese?" And you're like. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cortex can't be trusted. It's almost like he's the antagonist. You notice there's a lot of these snow levels as well. There's like three or four snow levels. I think three. And they're all quite long. A lot of snow levels, actually, if you're just going to say snow in general. Nothing hiding the explosive at the back. Penguin. Penguins. Yeah, they like uh, really overuse this tile set, I think, personally, just because you got the polar bear level. There's a lot of snow. <laughs> We're just going to narrow it down to there's a lot of snow in Crash 2. A lot of snow. Like, I'd say almost too much snow. Like it's the Borderlands 2 of the Crash Bandicoot franchise, where it's just like everything is snow for no real reason other than fuck you, here's some snow. Maybe that's like the shorthand. It looks complicated though, it looks really complicated the snow they made here. And in the original game it was similarly complicated, so it's like, it's not like they're just, oh, I'll cover everything in a, like a white polygon that'll save us time, because it's like, oh, great, just. A lot of shit all at once. Uh, alrighty. Did that count as me being too close? I just. They really like this combo, don't they? Okay. I know that I need to stop there, but I'm kind of either overrunning it or falling short. Okay, that just about worked. 
hitbox on this, the detection box on the stone pillar is a bit weird. Fuck you. Two lives. I keep jumping because I'm an idiot. I seem to think that if I jump around like a spaz in a small area that it will be fine somehow. Okay. This is hard. I remember this one being hard. I don't remember this one at all though. I remember the name, but not really why, and now I'm starting to see why. Okay. So that felt like I was trying to get out from underneath one thing, and then he ran too far forwards before I could really react to it. it might be something to do with my setup and my latency, it might be just that I'm dumb. Oh no, yeah, but... Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Harassment in China and in Asia in general. Harassment, rape, and pedophilia just goes woefully, in Asia in general, just goes woefully underreported. Domestic violence, too. It's actually a massive problem with the continent in general. And not just China. Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, all of these places. It's just a massive problem that is just not addressed properly. And everyone just goes, oh, well, it's fine. And, like, you're thinking, if they're treating women poorly in these countries with harassment and rape, you can imagine in how it, men just get ignored entirely. Because even in the West, they're like, huh, women can't rape. Hmm. Uh, men can't get harassed because they always want to have sex. So, um, yeah, you can imagine how you just, you get in this constant shitty, like, it's a really small space you're working with here. Mm -hmm. Continue. Boom. Uh, yeah, let's just go with it. So the answer was to be slightly more in the foreground than you're supposed to be. Did you know ice can make natural mirrors? Crash taught me this. They really had fun with the bonus levels in this game. Counts, but then I just immediately don't. That's a lot of wampas, though. Eat them. No, give me the wampas. Didn't get all of them. Got 81. No. Yeah. I win. So, yeah, it's something that I would like. To really discuss at some point, but it's like you're never gonna get anyone to take you seriously because half the people that work here, the kind of frat boys, are like, Why are you complaining? I love getting fucking harassed because I just want to fuck everything that moves in this country. And you're like, Well, that's you, buddy. And so the girls who are hitting on me, it's like, Yeah, it's easy to say, like, Oh, because they're not pretty, it's harassment. But when it's like, I'm clearly uncomfortable telling you something. Like, I'm clearly avoiding the topic for my own personal reason, and they're like, no, seriously, though, seriously, what the fuck? Why aren't you telling me? And it's like, get the fucking message, I'm not saying anything. Like, you know, because I don't want to talk about it, and I'm having to literally say to them, can you please stop asking me why I'm single, why I'm not dating your friend who we work with who's recently become single? Was this really a perfect run? Normally the death route requires a perfect run. I know I haven't done them. We'll get round to that, I think. Because, like, ooh, there's a thing up there. There was a thing. Oh, there's crystal. 
will never know. There's a secret. I'm sure there's a secret. Oh. Oh, I fucked this up. That was down there. I can do this. I cannot do this. <laughs> Just walk straight into it. This great thing about um, platforming games is oh, you, you can see it, right? It's not just me. I'm seeing crystals where there aren't any. Random patches of ice fucking with me as well. I need those extra pipes, man. Need them real bad. Yeah, so it's like something that's really pretty bad, because it's like, I'm a very private man. I don't like people knowing about my life and shit, especially if it's not work-related. You've got to have a strong work-personal life divide, I think. Because it's just, people at work are, like, very gossipy in the business that I'm in. Ew. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I walked back into the log last time. Okay, we're going to do it this time. Oh, no. Okay. It's like, yeah, I get it. It's like there's worse things that are happening, but it's like, it's really a case of like, it's just something that irks me particularly because it's like, I'm a very personal and private person. Like, you know, oh, I feel like there's something up there, you know. Maybe you got to do something for it. life so you know take it where you can get it uh so I keep running out of lives yeah I need to pump myself over there anyway Oh, there's one of these little douches. I don't know why I just call them little douches, but it's like, why is there a porcupine? The, the porcupines, there's got to be a type of porcupine that lives in the Arctic, right? There's got to be. Oh, apparently I can't jump. Please, sir. Senpai didn't notice me. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of people literally stopping me at lunch now when I'm just trying to eat food and I'm like trying to eat on my own and like hang out with like other guys and there aren't very many guys to hang out with and it's like meaning that I'm hanging out with an adult, an adult male student who's just a chill guy who likes hanging out with me who I know is not like gonna take it as a weird thing um, <clears throat> even though I probably shouldn't be and you know it's just ending in this really awkward kind of like everyone going why aren't you hanging out with us at work your workmates why are you hanging out with the students oh that feels like sh kind of harsh I don't want to game over here because then I have to do the whole level again. I'm just making life harder for me because of these guys. Oh. They both spin. Wait until they're away from the box. But this guy is never away from the box. Oh yay, Wumpa Fruits. I say as I risk my life getting Wumpa Fruits and getting stuck on this wall. You can see there's a like, life crate in the back 
there, I don't know why you didn't. And this shit. And that's why you're scared. You do the leg slide. Because otherwise you're just kind of relying on him skiing fast enough and it feels a bit rough. I think it's the first level where you fall down and if you go backwards you've got something there. And after that you're just forever doing it. Ooh. This porcupine bastard. There's a reason you're not in Crash 3. Also you can imagine how difficult it was for them to make this with like two polygons per enemy. <laughs> they do like their rollers. I'm glad the rollers do make a comeback. I didn't mention it before. I like the rollers. Oh, there's a hole there. Oh, I thought they were connected. Yeah, so it's making work really awkward because it's like, oh, he saw me. He's got long range. Uh. Oh. Please. Oh, or no, whatever. You can get crushed by this metal crate. They like messing with you and crash. You yeah, didn't notice. Oh! I used to get squished by them. Just an angel now. Please stop dying. We need to get to the end. Give me another life so I feel a bit more secure. Yeah, so it's like I never I have this strict thing of no dating co-workers, and a lot of people are like, whoa, why? And it's like, are you crazy? And then other people are like, yeah, I get you, man, that actually makes a load of sense. Like I wouldn't ever do that either. And other people are like, what do you mean? And it's like, you clearly have never dated a co-worker. <laughs> like, don't date co-workers. And like at this place, they're all hitting on me. Some of them are really pretty, and some of them are like kind of my type. But then I get to know them, and I'm like, nah, it's not, it's not what I want. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. And they're kind of like some of them are really going ham with it. You know that? Okay, fuck me, I guess. They're going really ham with it, and you're like, do you really need, like, why are you so intense? Jesus, I thought you had a, like, when I first met her, I thought she had a boyfriend, so I was just like, okay. Hello, crazy but friendly person. Oh, no, she's just madly, I'm, like, I'm being stopped when I'm having lunch, and they're like, do you know why she acts so weird? Because she loves you. And I was, like, laughing about it to my mate, because I've been here, like, a week and a half to two weeks. And I'm like, okay. And we've held about... Hmm. Okay, I thought that up. Don't worry, they magically come back. Ooh. touched it. Oh, I'm gonna die. I forget that they make some of the monkeys cybernetic for some reason. What happened? I just suddenly tilted that way. Hey, they don't have the lighting on him this time. He used to be in shadow. Is it because I died too many times? I like, here's what he looks like. It looked like the lighting bugged out there. Oh, whatever. What was I saying? Yeah, it's just a bit like, there's this one girl acting crazy and they're like, going, oh yeah, you know why? 
she loves you, and I'm like, uh, bitch, don't even know me. Talk to her three different times. That's all we've ever said to each other. Oh. Oh. And I'm just like, I think she really needs to categorize what she considers love then, because we've had about two conversations. She's been driving most of the conversations, and I've been avoiding her, because she's kind of annoying, and I'm not looking for anything. Oh my fucking god, can you just stand on the fucking platform? What the shit? Why does it keep leaning forwards? I'm not touching up. Here. Ah. Oh. Better if you were alive right now, but sure. It's kind of my fault. What will happen? Death will happen. That was stupid. Oh, yay. Death or death? Which one would you prefer? doing good at these levels, I have to admit, because I'm talking about being harassed at work. Um, <clears throat> I was, yeah, so I'm kind of like, okay, some of it's just unwanted attention, and I was like, I'm flattered, but no. Other ones, it's like, okay, you really need to stop asking me this shit, it's getting fucking old and creepy, and I'm kind of making the obvious hint that I don't really want to talk about this, and you're still asking me for some reason, you know, and it's just like, it's not any of your fucking business, and I'm not going to give you an answer, like, straight up, I'm just going to, what the fuck, it's just going through everything, or just leaning diagonally forwards at random points, can we stop doing this, please? I've never had this problem before. What's going on? Is it is my controller busted? Fuck you. It's really hard to perceive depth for some reason. Am I just going blind? What's going on? Yeah, so it's just a little bit like, okay, stop now, you're harassing me, and as I work six days a fucking week with them, and they're constant. What the fuck? Jesus. Every time I start talking, it just phases through reality, I swear to God. So we're going to just sit here and quietly or mutely just watch it fuck up. want. What was I doing? It's because it's making me go in and out and back and forth like this and this and this and I'm not lining up properly again. And it needs everything to be a slide jump because fuck you, crouch jumping no longer exists because why would you want the easy option? Ugh. So anyway, we just get on with this. That's not what I meant. Land on the fucking platform. You notice it's like a big arc to everything he does now, where it used to just be fall. It's now like arc miles off of the cliff. It's just really weird handling that's very, like I said, it feels like, I don't know how to put it, buttery, flubby, where everything feels like it's moving a little too slowly. Or it's just not moving accurately at all, or it's just like a little bit like sudden acceleration on some things, and then sudden non-acceleration when you've expected it and it's taught you that's what it was going to do. 
okay, what the fuck? That was not me. I'm holding right. Only right. Shall I what? You want the directional pad? We're gonna go we're gonna be like you want me to hold your fucking hand on this? Are you gonna be this much of a sad fucking Fine. We're just gonna do it with the directional pad, because apparently I'm doing everything diagonally. literally using the directional pad, fuck you. Whatever. Box bridges. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't do it right, because you kept fucking me over, because you literally had to use a directional pad, because you would otherwise just go, everything is diagonal, so you're not using the diagonals. That's bullshit, but fine. Wait for him to come back so I can spin him. Or not. Ooh. Oh, hello. I'm still using the directional pad because I think my stick may be fucked. It might be something wrong with the stick because it kept veering off the cliffs and shit. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And for this shit, where you gradually slide off the rotating pillar, you really just need it not to just decide to veer off on a random direction. Okay, this is just going to start pissing me off soon. Please. Um. Oh, we'll try and work this out. I'll start talking when I feel like I'm not going to get fucking burked, <laughs> which is going to be a while, because we're just going to go round and round on this pillar while I try and work out. So you're asking me to work in really weird, constrained 3Ds. The Nitro decided to jump, so fuck me. See the... You see the shadings back. God damn it, this is like... <clears throat> I forgot Ruination is way harder than the first Ruin level. And yeah... It's hard, man. It's one of the harder levels in the game, I actually have to admit. The, the difficulty level is a little more like sudden curves on this. In comparison to the other games. Where, to be honest, Crash 3 never felt like it was challenging you that much, you know? I tried to skip a bit, and I just lost the life being an asshole, so... What did we learn today, children? Nobody likes an asshole. Yeah, so, like, I'd say, if I was going to summarize uh, the industry that I work in, it's it's popular with fuckboys, because fuckboys don't use their brains, they use their dicks. So every time they go into an industry like China and Hong Kong, and all the girls try and sleep with them, they go... Yeah, booyah, motherfucker. I don't need to think about anything. I'll just use my penis. If you're the kind of guy who's like, nah, I don't really want to do that. I want to have a private life. I don't want to be constantly getting fucking chlamydia off of creepy weirdos who literally just try this shit on every single guy that comes through the fucking... And girl. Every foreigner, because they see us as cheap and easy free sex... So they just do it all the time. You just kind of sat there like, I don't want to be like that. 
so I don't want to do that, you know? I actually have some fucking dignity and I don't just sleep with anything. Sorry people who do. I'm a little different. You see there's a monkey shadow in the background there? Top. On the uh, right there, far in the distance, it's sort of weird. You'll never see them unless I do a gem path or a death route. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of damage. So yeah, this one girl at work finishing my tirade of like why I hate this. She was like going, "Oh, do you think I'm pretty?" I'm gonna show the monkeys. Did you like the barrel level in the first game? His monkeys were doing similar things. Ooh. Oh. Scared me that log. She's like, Do you think I'm the most beautiful girl you've ever seen? And I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't pay attention to that. And she's like, That's not the right answer. Like, I'm not gonna just fucking. I didn't come to work today to be handed the reins of your emotional state. Like, for fuck's sake. Like, sorry, I came to work to do work, not to be told, Oh, if you don't tell this girl she's pretty she'll get sad. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, so I have to lie to your face so that you can continually flirt with me and be an asshole. When it's clearly harassing me. He wouldn't jump. What the fuck? He was just, like, locked into the platform there. I don't like this. This is going badly. This is going really badly. I feel like better chances with the monkey thing though, the barrels and the monkeys and the... I think barrels because Donkey Kong, but it's not actually a barrel, it's a log. Oh, oh, no, I fucked it. Oh! Okay, don't jump or spin whenever I want you to jump or spin, just jump once. I don't like the fact that they jump those nitros. Yeah, so it's just a bit like, ugh, can you not? Oh. Hey, how did I do it the first time? Again, it's starting to just randomly go to the front. So it's starting to drift. Why can't I make this jump anymore? Why is he shallow jumping? Is it just to piss me off? Because it feels like it's just to piss me off. Alright, gotta hold your hand. get to the end of a level. It's been like half an hour of me just fucking around and whining. No one, no one wants to hear this. Oh, uh, yeah, actually time shit, dumbass. Ugh. Oh, yay. The bonus round that just drains my patience instead of my life count. So anyway, what was I saying? Still using just the keypad. Um, really need the precision of the D-pad for a lot of this because otherwise it just real fucks you. Okay, it's kind of cancelling itself out. A bit weird. Get to the end of this. It's just. Ugh. I remember having this much trouble in the original with this level, but like it has been a long time because again, not much love for this version, this entry. Not that I hate it, just I don't love it.
Oh, great. Yeah, don't don't jump on the box or anything. See what I mean with fucked up depth perception and timing and shit? I'm just really not getting it. Great, we're miles away from a free life. <clears throat> I just don't get this bit, and I don't think I ever did. <clears throat> That's the problem, right? I just don't get it. Because it's like leaning one way, so I'm aiming at where it's leaning, and then it's like, no, and it's, you can see I'm clipping through it in some cases, and I'm just like, the fuck do you want? Like, I don't, don't get it. Maybe I'm just too stupid. Cause I get this one, and if they were all like this, I'd get it. But they're not. So yeah, you're, yeah, you're front facing, yeah, that, that's how I thought you worked. Why would you just suddenly make this horribly finicky- Oh. Why are none of these life boxes? Notice they're not giving me lives anymore when you really want them. All this shit. Look at this shit. Look at them. They're watching me with their eyes. Ugh. Mousy, bandy cootie things. Oh no, they do show the monkeys in the main game. Oh. Bad monkey. There's only one. Ever. Okay. Oh, we missed so many boxes, who cares? Get out of this hell. That came out of nowhere. I never felt like that was that hard. I used to think the B levels were hard and the jetpack levels were hard, but that was really hard. All right. Back to bees. A clever deception. What they mean is bullshit. And that's the thing, right? Oh, he, he was ready. Yeah, like, oh. Yeah, I forgot I was on this kind of ground. Ooh! They don't fuck around anymore. That's a big beehive. Oh, it's because there's so many. There's more bees. No, not the bees. So many Nicholas Cage references we can make. And we were just They're in my eyes. Oh. Oh. My eyes. No not the bees. I wanna ricochet some of them into this so that I don't have to just uh says. Yeah, thank you, bees. How did it burn? How did it burn? How did it burn? Tommy. Ooh, he's fast. Fast boy. Just make him faster, I guess. No! Oh, I can see the checkpoint. Game over. How can you still find that? Funny, okay, okay, when you know I'm just gonna do this. Uh, what was I saying anyway? I kind of want to go back and play the original Tomb Raider games. I was too young to play them, but like, I was still around people who were playing them, and I remember there being so many secrets and shit that I was just like, oh, that's so cool. And it looked really fun, and there was a lot of exploration and like med kit usage and stuff. And like, it was, I was always like, oh, that's neat, man. <clears throat> Ugh. now. Thank 
you. Ooh, these can't stand electric. Keep that in mind. Ooh, that's a lot to handle at once. I remember that bit specifically being the bit, you know, where it's like, you just gotta spin to win. You just gotta hope your spins finish or like have active frames at exactly the right point. Like they do it again here, look. Hey man, clever deception. If they changed it so I blew up when I did that, I would have gone, oh you fucking <laughs> mother. Oh, hello, Mole. I don't remember you guys. Ooh! I, the moment I started pressing X more, he shallow jumped further. So much rage. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was talking about being pissed off at work because they're always harassing me at work. Should we do the bonus, or should we just say fuck it? Look, that's the bonus. Clever deception. Kinda asshole, you'd only get this if you had the guide thing. Unless you were really just bored and decided, why are there a pile of nitros here other than for lols? Bees. Bees don't like holes. Oh. 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 <coughs> That's a lot to deal with at once. Ooh. That little bastard. Did anyone tell you that? <laughs> <coughs> hmm. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of getting. Getting. What the fuck? I wasn't ready. I wasn't even past them. Oh! Bastards. Be bastards. Hello, Akurka. I think this is bad, you should just see me trying to complete Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on the Wii U. That was just nightmare fuel after a while, because that took me a long time. Because I'm not really well versed in Nintendo platformers until fairly recently. I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at Mario. But like uh you know, both Galaxy and uh, Super Mario 3D World and things like that, and Mario Bros. But um, you stick me on a uh, Donkey Kong, and I just fuck up constantly because it's just very different to what I am used to. And like those final bosses, because it was like we were selling the Wii U or like something, and I was like, well, I'm gonna beat this game because. I bought the game, and I'm one of these guys who's very much like, if I buy the game, I will at least try to complete the game. Unless it's really shit, and was like 5p, or like a pound on the... Uh... Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. On uh, like Steam, and it's like, oh, well, I, you know, I got it in a bundle, or it's just like some a guy got it for me, and I really just don't care about this game. Okay. We'll go that way. I did kind of point that way. Okay. We're just going to sit here and do this because I don't want a platform. Okay. I don't like his breakdancing under the ground. Okay, <laughs> this is what we're doing now. I can't get out, though. I may have broken the game. I... I have broken the game. I have broken the game. I cannot get out from underneath. 
the dirt. It thinks I'm above the, but I can't, I can't get out. Uh, this has never happened before. I'm glad I got this on screen. I'm gonna have to kill myself. That, that's, that's kind of entertaining, but kind of weird at the same time. Doesn't like it if you go in and out, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ugh. That's, that's no good. Okay, let's just... Let's just... Bye-bye, bees. You're almost glad that there aren't very many more bee levels after this. Because it just... It just... Keeps on being. Oh, that was kind of, I don't know what I was doing there, that's my kind of, kind of my bee, <laughs> bee puns. This will mask my horrible anguish at this level. Oh, we are so far away from getting enough wampers. Oh. Was that lucky, or was that not? So yeah, like, a lot of guys I talk to, when, you, when you're harassed as a man, there is, the support you get from being harassed as a male from other males is the following. Oh, you're so lucky, mate. I don't get anyone looking at me. Oh, you fucking... And everyone going, oh, boo-hoo. The guy's got a lot of... Getting a lot of attention. Oh, that must suck. Oh, yeah, I fucking hate... Getting a female attention too. Shame I never get any. And you're like, yeah, you never just, you never get any, like, oh, you stingy. Am I in the air? We're so close to that sea. This area is, I think this area is the area I got stuck on when I was younger, so. <coughs> Bears. Not really. I just don't like this area. Oh, I slid. It was just too late. Please. Please at least let me get another life. There we go. Really didn't want to... It really does not want to give you that slide. Then you get the slide, and then the bees get you while you're ducking. Duck bees. Can't get me, I've got a hoodie. A hoodie. What do we call them? Hookers. Akus. Oh, he's still trying to get me. Oh, how is this a bonus level? You're doing this to me now. How is this a bonus level? This is a death level. Just give me, give me any lives, please. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What was I saying anyway? Well, I was 10 already. I'm gonna have this whole game done soon. Probably not because the final boss. Oh, final warp room. It's bad. It's bad. The final warp room is bad. You notice know, the bonus level suddenly stop dishing out lives and just very rapidly turn into. Ha 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 ha! Here's like 10 Wumper fruits. 1400 boxes that you have to hit all of, and a load of nitros. Ha 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 ha! And you're just like, look, look, I need the, I need a life. That's bullshit. I bet you that last one as well. Probably has a life in it. Just don't like this. There we go. Anyway, what was I saying? 
Yeah, you never really get like, and it's like I'm not sitting here crying because like girls are hitting on me. But it's just a little bit like, okay, I've made it very clear that you're invading my personal space here and asking me a lot of personal questions that I'm refusing to answer, and you're just keeping on pushing it. And like I said before, harassment in this nation, especially towards outsiders, is just absurd. Like they just don't give a shit. They don't care even in the slightest, man. They're just like, oh, well, whatever. Fuck you, bees. Pre-being. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I am snacky. Woot. This has been an hour, and I haven't even got to the final boss yet. The, this, the boss of this room. Oh, oh there's a color gem to be here. Oh jeez, my laptop's on shitty battery. Shit, 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 shit. Saved it on 3%. So engines working for him. Engines working for him. But the other guys were run by Embryo, or is that him lying? And he's like, deliver the crystals to Engine. But guess what happens when we go and fight Engine? He will try and murder us. Yeah, it's another mech fight. Very similar to Crash Freeze mech fight. But... I say very similar, it's like you're actually doing something very different. It's just a similar mech. And when I say, oh, it's similar to Free, it means Freeze is similar to Twos. Uh, gonna. Yeah. Oh shit, he's fast. Yeah. So... Surprised that didn't hit me. Is that it? What are we doing here? It's pretty fast with the up and downies there. I feel like you should be firing something at me that I can spin back at you, but you're not, and it's kind of weird. Please? Because I can't do anything with these. Oh! I can throw fruits at him. Okay. It's actually doing damage. I was sure before, I remember that, but I was supposed to hit. I 
don't really, I don't think it's doing much. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this feels really flaccid. Like it's not really doing anything. I'm seeing electrical damage. I'm, go I'm jamming his things by throwing Wumpa fruits at him. This is gonna be a long ass fight. Surely I'd just jam up his windshield after a while with all the fruit I'm throwing at it. These feel like they're taking a long time. Before they didn't have an animation of him throwing it, so literally the fruit were just spawning from his body and firing out. So I remember the fruit, but I always thought it was like... I don't know why I misremembered. Oh, new moves. No, you, I don't want you to have new moves. Not when we're so close. I don't want a platform. I want a boat. Oh, you, you can do that. Kind of failing to see how I'm going to hit you before you destroy all the platforms. Gotta get in the way, shoot, 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 and then leave. Oh, risky jump. I did that with zero lives. Now we can end this hour and 20 minute playthrough. Okay, I'm literally gonna stop.